Well, we got a real treat this morning in that we have a, a brother and sister from Bulgaria. They're going to come and greet you this morning, and they show a little video clip as a greeting from their young people back in Bulgaria. So this is Pastor Ilya and Daniela. Ilya, please stand. Of course, as you know, we're active in many nations around the world, and we have our fellowship of ministers and ministries in many nations, and they are our number one Bulgaria representatives. They have a great church in a city called Ruse, Bulgaria, and um, they are just precious and wonderful, and we're doubly thrilled that Jean and April Olin are here today. Our newest members of our fellowship, stand up, guys. I don't think you guys know each other at all, right? And uh, you've talked, all right. And so we're just grateful to the Lord for Pastor Ilya. And by the way, I just want to take a moment. Let's greet everyone who's joining us by live streaming this morning. <laughs> Amen. And by the way, if you heard that announcement before about volunteers needed, we really need you to pull it together. So especially if you're a younger person, that would be greatly, greatly uh, helpful, okay? So, I'm going to introduce Pastor Ilya and his wife, Daniela. They pastor a great church in Ruse, Bulgaria, so they're going to come and greet us. Let's welcome them. Thank you, Pastor Pete. Uh, Go there, brother. Uh, <laughs> we're happy to be here among you guys. Uh, what a privilege. Uh, our stay in the States is almost in uh, its end, uh, but this is the last chance, this is the last Sunday uh, we had uh, this chance to come and to greet you. Uh, we met each other five years ago, uh, and it was, uh, according to me, a divine connection when I met first uh, Mike Anticoli, and he, he, we just spent time together. Uh, I shared with him uh, the vision the Lord has given us about reaching the souls, making disciples, rising new generation, reaching the lost souls. And actually, he said, I have to uh, bring both of you to my pastor. So we came five years ago, and since that moment and all, we, we walked away. <laughs> pastor Peter and Mike Anticoli and some other ministers of your church, uh, being at least three, four, five times, I don't know already, but something like this. We had uh, leadership conferences in Russia. We, um, we, we had business seminar. We had uh, evangelization and concerts. So uh, I, I believe that nothing is in vain, but God gathering people for his divine purposes for his kingdom. Amen. Amen. And you know, uh, his, his kingdom is very, very big. Hallelujah. So I believe we're working because God is someone that uh, uh, works in our hearts. And, and we are happy uh, to see uh, what is going on in our church in Ruse. Uh, this is northeast of, uh, uh, in Bulgaria, just on the border with Romania. Uh, we see how many people recently were added to the church. A mother with 10 kids was added to our church. It is uh, such a privilege and blessing to, to have uh, uh, this, this, this family. And also we saw how many people were um, um, healed by, by after, the, 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 after prayer uh, for healing. Uh, people, uh, uh, sister was healed uh, by a cancer, Hodgkin uh, cancer. And uh, it was a very bad situation with her. But uh, her is totally healed. She is totally healed. And this is medically approved. And recently, being here in the States, uh, she uh, just, we talked by Facebook, and she said, I, I have a friend, and she is, she was also um, sick of cancer of Hodgkin in level, uh, higher level. Very bad. But after prayer for her, she also was uh, healed 100 persons. Yes. So we are happy to see how his miracle power working. Uh, and God uh, uh, is somebody who healed the people and blessed them and make the, their life different. And also, uh, uh, we, we see a, a good uh, 
working of the, the word of God and the spirit of God among our youths and the teenagers. So they are very excited and they reach uh, uh, their friends with the gospel and youth ministry is going on very, very well. Uh, so we are very happy and we plan many things uh, in the coming years uh, about the adults, about the youths and everybody. Uh, and also many Muslim recently, recently gave their lives to Jesus. It is something great. You know, there is a population in Bulgaria around 1.5 million that are Muslim. And Bulgaria is not a big country. This is 7.5 million. So 1.5 are Muslims. Inheritance of the Turkish Empire, Ottoman Empire. So uh, even our youth pastor, five years ago, he, he was saved five years ago, and uh, he, he, he was MMA uh, ch world champion. And he gave his life to Jesus, and he's coming from a Muslim uh, family. Uh, so he gave his life to Jesus, and he, 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 in his previous life, he was a mafia guy. But now he's a youth pastor in our church, and he's doing very well with our kids. In the beginning, he said to, to the youths, if you don't read your Bible, I'll meet you. Uh, so... He is a very strong guy. So, uh, uh, and his mother, uh, you know, our youth pastor, three years ago, he had car accident. And uh, his brother and his mother blamed the church that we are guilty that, uh, that Allah punished uh, their son because he turned from Muslim faith into, into Christianity. So they blame us that we are guilty. Uh, that he turned uh, his life to Jesus. Uh, but now, uh, after this uh, heavy car accident, his mother was saved and gave her life to Jesus four months ago. She turned to Jesus. She was ready to burn the church. They were gathered together, the guys, MMA fighters, and they uh, they uh, thinking about the plan how to burn the church. And the mother of... Uh, of our youth pastor said, I'm the first one. Let us go and burn that church. But one of these guys said, you know, there are many. We could burn their church, but they are all, all around. So you cannot stop them burning the church. So they stopped. Uh, it was the Lord, I believe. So we have many great miracles happens among the people in their personal life about their healings and whatever is going on. We, we see how God is great and faithful and we are thankful for everything, what he did in our life and to you. For all the money spent for evangelizations in Bulgaria, we had twice uh, extreme impact in, in Bulgaria, in the summer theater, and it was a great impact in the spiritual realm. You know, Bulgaria is not like America. We have to plug first the, the ground. It is, it is not easy. You, you, we don't have a spiritual inheritance. We, we, we are the pioneers. You and, and, and we, and we work together to plow uh, this, this heavy ground, this very tough ground, uh, and we believe that we can put a very good foundation uh, for the coming generations. So we, we, we want to say thank you. And we also work very well uh, uh, of the municipality of Rusa. We're working with the politics, and uh, they are so open. We do a charity bazaars. Uh, because the, one of the, uh, the recent things the Lord put in our heart to build a, a church building and part of that building to be a rehabilitation center for abused people. So rehabilitation give us for free the land in the park uh, where we sell uh, handmade uh, souvenirs. So uh, we have this favor uh, uh, the Lord put in their hearts. And we even brought here a few of the things uh, our people from the church uh, did, handmade. We put uh, just on the entrance of the church. So if you like, you can be participant of our vision and just uh, to, do, uh, to, to sow uh, our seed uh, uh, in, in the kingdom of God. And we believe God is able to provide uh, whatever we need. But we do our part and we believe he's faithful. Amen. God bless you.